Hey Stampers, Jennifer again, and a friend of mine was asking about a birthday book. Um, she wanted to put cards in a book, um, write the, the, obviously the month, the date, and who whose ever card it was for that d date and uh, time. <laughs> Do you know what? It comes to as soon as I put that camera on, but I, I go gibberish. I don't know why, but. I, I grabbed my card and measured my card and oh they fit gorgeous but silly sausage I forgot the envelope so I've got this has only got four pages and it will fit oh let me grab a card oh let's have a look it will fit your birthday card perfectly so you could have say like three months because it's expanded you could get like three months she says oh my goodness don't say that now because the other card went in right i think it's just because it's a little bit on the bulk side and new so my cards fit in but i didn't make it wide enough for my envelopes so the next one i'm gonna do oh, i remember making this one it's one of our sketches uh it's gonna have it it's gonna be big enough to carry the envelope as well as the piece of paper I'm not going to do these notches out because I made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, but I guess you could, if you did the measuring there too, get another two in the center as well. So you could have like six. So say this one could hold January, February, March, April, May, June, or the other one, July and August, September, October, and November and December. So, or you can make the spine even wider and have one for each day of the month but i just thought it's just so cute that's just the way round it goes because my happy birthday is upside down and i was working on a bigger scale on the last one i did have a phone conversation with her and showed her the papers i was going to do it out of dsp and i thought well if it's not going to last if we only do it out of designer sewing paper so let's do it out of chipboard so this one is going to it's perfect if you just want to put your cards in there and grab your envelopes at a separate time um, but I'm going to make this next one just slightly bigger I'm going to make this one um, this one now is going to be seven and a half by five because your cards tend to be have I taken that card out? have I left it in there? yeah there it is because your cards tend to be only about four maybe four and a quarter so five is going to be plenty so it's going to be the same height but it's just going to be a lot wider so we can fit the envelope in there as well and give us more space the wider it is the more you can pack in so we've all done expen expanding wallets before so it's nothing it's nothing that i have invented uh, I've seen plenty of videos on expanding pockets so it's just to put them in and I've been making albums for god knows how long now so put them inside a hardboard cover so I don't think it's dead cute I might give this away to somebody as a prize maybe I'll fill it with birthday cards without the envelopes <laughs> so you're gonna need to I'm making like I say these are five by seven and a half so on my pages are gonna be like four and three quarters which is big enough for my card and my envelope so you need two of those and you'll need uh, your spine at one and a half by seven and a half and we're going to need to cover that you're going to need two pieces that measure nine and a half by eight and we're going to join the two together let's just make sure i've got the height right yes yeah, perfect so we're going to oh i just stuck myself in the book in the blah, 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 blah. yeah and so we're going to grab some tape and we're going to join these two together should be wide enough i think yes perfect should be perfect so i'm only using a small piece of this the black cardstock i use from the range is amazing it doesn't crack it uh just is so pliable And I'll tell you what we're going to do as well. I'm going to show you a little. Because I need two pieces at four inches, I'm going to attach them onto my card like so. 
so when our flaps come over I might even have to cut them a little bit bigger actually so I'll wait no I'll wait till the end I'll wait till I've got them joined together before doing that so a bit of tape you can use glue as well if you want I'm using this tape it's perfectly fine it's never come off mine before and it's a birthday book so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that over making sure I cover the tape perfect so first of all I'm just using art glitter glue you can use tape and glue if you want it's entirely out up to yourselves what you want to use I love this art glitter glue and it's brilliant it adheres so quickly otherwise we'd have to sit and wait for the glue to dry and so like I'm saying we've got this nine by eight nine and a half by eight sorry just so and we want about an inch either end I want to make sure that stays in the middle perfect don't worry about the white it will dry clear and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this and I'm going to give myself at least uh, what either one eighth or three eighths of an inch gap because I'm folding and the other cards start going down and that way you get a good closure and you don't get no cracking and nothing because you're not stretching the paper too far. nicely I'm going to make sure it's all the way on to the end so I always like to come this side I don't know why so I just find it easier so I'll just pop that on keep it pretty level and I'm like say about three eighths of an inch of a gap because it, it's just like doing an album honestly it's just it's on a smaller scale but I'll show you an easier way to fold your card in a minute to get wrapped round. Plenty on because we don't want it to fall apart. I mean, you could do it as a just as a card holder, Christmas cards birthday cards and my gorgeous friend Cheryl was after a birthday book so I'm going to do this and it's taken me ages to get down to it and I do apologise for my petal for the long delay so is that okay, that's solid now that's not going anywhere so I just tend to pick up my book fold it over which gives me a perfect creasing go along the edge not only that, I give it a good pull from behind as well. So I've got the perfect crease along there. I'm going to do the same on this side. Perfect crease. Open it out and then I'm going to, well, I'm going to just lift now over let your shape of your chipboard do the work for you and you're going to have those perfect corners you're going to know where to cut yeah. it's each to their own however you um, cover your albums it's just going to be like that I like to do mine like this I find it's a lot easier and white there white bits show up I've got to cut them off so now I've got my four corners perfectly marked so I can grab my long scissors and you want to leave about 
two mil just like that I'll show you and you at least about two mil gap there and then you want to do that on all four corners you don't want to get it too close because you want to wrap a little tiny bit around so I've done this so many times now And then if you watch most other people, they all go around with the tape. I think your art glitter glue. And I, I'm going to do the two long sides first. I think that is, I usually just do the sides and then struggle with the middle. So I'm going to do this, the middle first. So I was squirting loads of my art glitter glue. And if you want to, now when you've got your glue on there, you can literally just do what you just did to get it creased. It's just fold it over. Just give it a rub. We haven't got a worry there now. Perfect. Perfect lining. So we, because we'd already creased it, our paper's literally just memory foam. It's like the memory sponge has gone straight back into those spaces. I mean, if you were making an album, a, well, a lot of people do use both tape and glue. I think this art glitter glue is amazing. So as to me, that is all I need. I think sometimes it just adds, I don't know where it adds, I just love art glitter glue. And for this sort of project, just get it glued down. It adheres so fast, so it's not going to come undone. Just give that a last little helping hand. And now take your bone folder and literally come along the edge and just come around the corner. Same. Well, I, I prefer to do it whilst it's like opposite me. Just tuck that around the corner. Uh, awkward now, isn't it? Just tuck it around the corner. And then this one. Just literally tuck it around the corner. There we go. Again, loads of art glitter glue. Doesn't matter if it oozes out, it's just going to dry clean. And then fold. Oh, it's not daunting at all. You've got lovely corners every time. And every time we turn it over and rub, we're making sure it's all glued down everywhere. We're just over rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And look at that, perfect corners. Perfect corners every time. Look, beautiful. Loads of glue, right, especially in the crease. Perfect, and then right along that edge. Again, just push it over, give it a rub. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. And it's all down. There's no need to do anything else to that. Watch this now. I, I it's never cracked on me ever. Just push. You've got to help tease it in because there's some of that glue in there as well. It will adhere down. And look at that beautiful. I right, then let's get the other one done. Let's pull the two together. I give it a good. I know I can be rough with this card stuff because I know it doesn't crack. It is just absolutely brilliant. 
And what I'm doing now is just smoothing and straightening those edges. No cracks, no nothing. It's just absolutely fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. So you can decide which way round you want to put your book. Just, to me, it doesn't make any difference. It's all the same. Right, now you're going to need a piece that is seven and a quarter by four and a half. And that is just going to go in the centre there to give it double the strength. And then I put these at seven and a quarter by four, literally, because you just don't want anything showing. You could just add DSP in there. So when you tuck inside, you just see your DSP. I might just do that, actually. I might just save those two pieces. Just use this one. This one is the only one I'm going to put a little bit of tape on because it, it's, it's, I just want it to sit right and I'm going to do it on here. Literally, just want it there. 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 It doesn't even have to go all the way down. And there. That's it. I find when you put the black on here, it wants to lift, even with glue, when you come to bending it again. But with a little bit of tape, it'll just help keep it down a little tiny bit. This is the only time I use tape nowadays. I just literally just use my glue. So like I'm saying, this is a quarter of an inch smaller than our seven and a half. And just by four and a half, it gives me the one and a half inches plus one and a half inches either side and you've got to make sure it's glued nice and thick all the way around the edges and down the sides in fact everywhere so I'm going to do as much as I can I'm going to really lay this on I know it gets an even spread. I don't mind it oozing out. So again, just eyeball. You want to make sure you've got roughly about half an inch, one and a half inches either side and a quarter of an inch top and bottom. And that is it. Now just grab my other Holder. I'm just going to keep rubbing so you can't hear. I always hear like a crackling sound. It means there's a void. So you can't hear that void. Do you hear it? Can you hear that? Now I am going to gently just crease and fold at the same time and because we use the glue and the tape there's no void there's no lifting and that has gone on as smooth as a baby's bottom and then I'm going to do the same on this side just gently not putting no pressure on I can just do it with a flat hand and I'm just lifting because that glue that's in there it's going to go in and it's dear to the other side. A little bit of lift there. The reason that's white is because this is not Teflon. And there we go. There is our little book made instantly. Just with a bit of glue. No, you've got to have the right card stock. This is 225 GSM and I get it from the range. And it's like the cheapest chips. You get 20 sheets, like £4.99. So if you're in the UK, you can't go wrong, grab some. If you can't get to a, a range near you, that is, like, do you hear that? That's because there's a little void in there. I wonder my, but that will settle down, don't worry about that. But that's it, that's, that's basically our book covered. So Gainer's got a thing for OCD and doesn't like white bits on black cardstock, even though I know it's going to dry 
clear. <laughs> I can't help yourself. So, you, you can glue these on now. It's just that you don't want to see any cardboard when you add your first wallet because we're not going to... Because we are having an open pocket that you'll be able to open because of the sides, concertina side, you don't really want to see this bit. So if you want to just chop that down, I would, what did I say these were? Four inches. I'm going to take them down to about three and three quarters and just grab my utility. It's literally just so you can't see. Let's take them down to about three and a half. That should be plenty. Yeah, just want to cover the black, basically. I mean, you could turn this now if you want to do into a little ACT album and use the concertina pockets to, to pop your ACT cards in there. Look how nice and neat that looks. No one's going to see all the way down to this line. And the same on this one. I need to top up my glue bottle. There we go, just cosmetics. Just to hide the black. There we go. You can give these as presents. Get them up your cards for someone. I don't know. It's entirely up to yourselves. But this is for my gorgeous friend, Cheryl. And yep, yeah, that is perfection. The only reason there's white on there is because I've used the non Teflon. Teflon does not mark your black cardstock. So there's, to me, that's the front. I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. And I am going to grab my DSP. So I've chosen to this time, instead of going all girly fied, I'm going to go vintage. And I'm going to add some of these stunning vintage papers. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to use this as my front sheet, if I can find that in there. Oh, look how beautiful this is. I'm going to have some of that for the pages. Nice thick card stock this is as well. 250 GSM. Gorgeous. There it is. Oh, you're pretty much my most favourite of all the time in history ever. Oh, isn't that beautiful? But I'm just today going to use that flower. So I'm going to cut this. This is five. So let's get my trimmer. And I'm going to take this down to four and seven eighths. Right there now, because you don't forget your cardstock grows once you uh, add layers. So I can afford to. Oh, look at that. This is actually oh, buzzing in my ear. So my chipboard has now gone up. It was five and one eighth. It's now up to five and three eighths. So I can, if I had to cut that at five and four and seven eighths, then I'd have been um, a bit short. So I'm going to say take it to there. I'm going to do five and a quarter. So measure twice, cut once. That's what they say. I'm going to take that little line off first. Just so. I've got, I don't mind the lines top and bottom. Well, I only have one, won't I? So I'm just literally going to remove that stripy line. Even though it's absolutely beautiful. And now I'm going to cut five and a quarter.
beautiful papers. And I'm going to chop this down. I'm going to, I'm going to remove the top as well. Just so I don't have lines somewhere only in one section and not in anywhere else. So and now I'm going to do this to seven. Let's check again. Measure twice. See, this was seven and a half. The chipboard is now stretched with, it's gone an extra eighth of an inch. So I'm going to do this to seven and one sixteenth before the seven and a half. So that is going to be the cover to my album. And look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Fits like a glove, as the, my husband would say. So while I'm here, I'm going to choose... Oh, I'm not going to have the writing. Oh my goodness, these papers are outstanding. So I'm going to choose this section for my back piece. And I'm going to choose this section for my spine. So again, seven and one fifteen short. Of, uh, oh, I can't use that for my spine, can I now? And five and a quarter. So that's my back piece. Let's see. I only need one and a half. So let's check if that hasn't uh, grown as well. That's now gone to one and, oh, just short of one and three quarters so if i do one and five eighths that should fit on there because don't forget you're adding layers so that the, the width is obviously going to get wider and wider especially on an album they can go back into my scrap packet along with the uh, and then i'm going to cut some more pieces in a moment to be inside as well that is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know which side to have now. They're both beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this is... See what I mean? It fits in there beautifully. Let's get that... Oh, look at the blue though. Oh my goodness. Oh no, turn it back again. <laughs> You spoil for choice. I why, oh, why don't they just give you double the amount? And there's no need then for you to pick and choose sides. You've only got it on the one side there. Especially when you fall in love with both sides. Right. Oh, that's oh, good thinking, ain't it? You forgot your ribbon. I certainly have. So, do I add my ribbon on the front, under the cover? Or do I add it on the inside? Or do I use something else as a closure? This is the time to think about it now. Are you going to add it now? To the inside? Or are we going to add it like I did here. I added it under my DSP. You could add also add it from the inside, but then you'd have it coming from inside your pocket. Mr. Boyce, you're there a you diamond. Would you have me use my paper then? Because you spilt it everywhere, Mr. Boyce. Oh. <laughs> it's all right. I've wiped it up. He's a mucky pop man. Bless his soul. So, um, I'm just going to grab some more. I'm going to grab some more of the silver as well. Because I, like, I think it's going to go lovely. Because it's like a silvery blue. And I keep uh, scissors in my drawer. My ribbon scissors. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. Bluey silver. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So let's straighten up these edges. And all I'm going to do for this is grab some more double-sided tape. 
couple of pieces. And I'm aiming this mostly for the center. And then this one, I want it closer. No, you don't want to come too close. You don't want to see your tape. But you want to have a bit of a leeway. So let's get the other side on. We've got plenty of Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of length to tie a, uh, a bow there. I've just ordered some in double sided tape, half inch. And the minimum order was 18 rolls. So it's like, but it was so cheap enough. And then by the time I got the 18 tacks and everything on, on there, the VAT to go on and in delivery, it's like that cost me 40 quid. But I got 18 rolls at half an inch thick. I'm going to add one more just in the centre. I didn't do it on the other one, but I'm just going to overly make sure this one is perfectly. Because I've only got this eight, this quarter inch stuff left now. So. Choose your side. That's my side. So this is the front. Pick off those. And then we can glue this gorgeous paper down. Oh, it's beautiful. Like having a birthday book or jam the world's worst. I've got everyone's birthdays written on a calendar, and then some months I forget to turn the calendar over. I am the world's worst. I'm sorry. I do apologise in advance. <laughs> you could even use this as a little album and use the pockets to carry photos. You don't have to just use uh, it for cards. You could turn this into a little photo album. I just think it's the cutest thing on the planet. So don't forget when you're turning over and out, you've got to flip it, otherwise you'll end up with your pattern upside down. So I've done that before now. Like a silly sausage. So I'm wondering. Mm, actually, our pattern runs that way, but I'm having it this way. Going a bit out there with a bit of vintage. I might do this as a prize or a giveaway actually. Fill it with handmade birthday cards or thank you cards, just cards in general. How's that? And do a giveaway. The only thing with pay or paper, you can't see how much glue's on there, but I trust me, there's plenty. So again, I'm just gonna line this up. Yeah, always measure twice. Cut once. You know what, I'm like the small borders. That's perfect for me. I haven't got the two sheets to this because I shared my paper share with the gorgeous Catherine who comes in group. She's miles away from the closest range, bless her soul. And she fell in love with these papers and I said I will donate half of my papers that I gave that I bought and I gave her half of all the papers that I bought that day just in exchange for her to pay the postage and packaging which she did and I popped in some extras as well she was really grateful bless her soul I just think if you pay it forward and she was gonna do the same she loved the papers that I'd sent so much. She wanted to share them with the girls in group. So how beautiful. Look at that. You wouldn't want that carrying. You could even carry that in your handbag if it was big enough. Absolutely stunning. Right, I'm going to leave that to one side for a min. Kina's going to have a swig of her coffee. 
Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab my scoreboard out now, and I've got the next lot of black card stuck. Which is here. Yeah, I've got one at 10 by 10 and a half. I have got four at seven and four and three quarters. And I've got four at four and three quarters by two. So, right, 10 and a half side. I did uh, the 10 side first, sorry, the short side. So we are gonna score this at half an inch, one inch, and one and a half. I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do the same again. Half an inch, one inch, and one and a half. And then on the long side, we're going to score this. Oh, wait there now, are we? Yes, we're going to score this at five. Which leaves, let me just turn that round. That's right, yeah. Five and five and a half. That's all we're going to score that at. Perfect for that one. Now for our little pieces, we're going to score these at one, at half and one and a half. And then we're going to flip it over and score it at one. That way, when we concertina the card, it gives us perfect little concert and it doesn't, it doesn't make your paper crack. Those of you, this doesn't crack anyway, but it just saves. So half, one and a half, flip it over and one. That way all your crease lines are going in the right way for you to concertina the sides. And if you just want to add another inch on there, you could add two and a half and then just score um, what, half, one and a half, Turn it over one and two. That way, you'd have to you'd get an extra bit of bulkiness. But that's entirely up to yourselves. That's just an option in case you wanted them wider to hold more cards. So again, perfect, perfect, perfect. And we're going to need four of these. So, oops, it all gained a jump to jump the line there. One, one and a half, and one. So. Half, sorry, one and a half and one. There we go. Perfection. And that's all the scoring. Now we're just gonna just get my rubber eraser. Oh no, I'm gonna cover it up anyway. So you're literally just gonna remove these three little squares here. When I did, I did all this individually and then realised afterwards, why don't you just leave them on the sides and then trim them off? Silly sausage. Just gonna fold that a sec, just so I can remove that properly. And then I'm going to think I'm going to just fold that, just so I can cut that score mark away better. There we go, nice and neat now. You don't need those bits, but we should have done the same there. We're going to concertina out our sides. mine down to size just these two lines and then did eight of these and I thought why not just leave them on the side gain and cut them off silly sausage instead of adding them taking them off and then adding them back on so they're already here so just make your card a bit wider perfect and then we're gonna score I should have done that first I suppose way and this way. See what 
what I mean now, you've got this little tiny mix because we didn't get all the way. Just while you're here, you want to just nick them off. Just to neaten them off. See what I mean? Makes all the effort. So, when we measure this section now, this measures seven and a quarter, it should be. Seven, it should be, sorry. There we go, seven by four and three quarters. Actually, it's by five. Oh yeah. Well, how's that then? Oh, it should have been four and three quarters actually, so if I forgot to adjust something. Yes, I have. So give me two seconds. I'm just gonna literally remove a quarter of an inch off both sides. So it's not 10, it should have been uh, one, one, two, three, and seven. Yeah, that's right. Ah, that one's right. Yeah, it's th this way. It shouldn't have been 10 and a half. It should have been, it should have been just 10, 10 by 10, sorry. I'm going to take a quarter of an inch off because it's four. I, I, I made the adjustments after I decided to chop my card down. So I'm taking a quarter inch off both ends to make them four and three quarters. Let's check. Go to gain this, cut it off. And there we have it. Four and three quarters. That's what we need. I decided to cut my pockets down a little bit smaller after I've done all my measuring. So it's nobody else's fault but mine. I will adjust that on my measurements before I show you. So that's 10 by 10. And we're going to score then at 4. I'll do this piece here. So the long, the short side is right. The long side is going to be 4 and 3 quarter and 5 and a quarter. <coughs> on the long side, well, on one side because the is ten by ten. But I'll show you the measurements in a bit, and then we can rewind, come back, and you can make it with me. It's simple. So again, add your concertinas. They're gonna go like this, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue here, here, here here and here and then oh sorry not that one that's the top one there and I'm just gonna it's just gonna help when I come to glue all my sides on just to start me off so again I'm gonna glue here 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 and there and then just push that down. Just keeps them from springing up. If you need a little peg, pop a peg on, but my art glue goes off pretty quick when I get it on there. Perfect. See how they're staying down? Easier to glue. Same on these. And that's just going to keep them pushed down. I could be able to get my envelopes in there now as well. So I'm going to be gluing that now. Dana, stop being so fussy. <laughs> so now these pieces are seven by four and three quarter, and they just fit on the top there. And we just glue basically along the sides and across the bottom, and we can pop them on. That one's just come undone. Just give that a little hold down. My in shot yet. So 
so now I'm just going to line that up along the edge perfect perfect and then just give that a good burnish oh paper cut oh look at that right right down on the joint I mean oh that stings like hell right what you could have done if you want if you can still oh no it's a bit too small now should have um i was going to round the corners off but i'll leave it now so again do the same see it along the bottom you haven't got any glue anywhere else you're just gonna don't cover the, the score line because that's the way you're gonna open and close and if you have to you might have to trim these down a little bit actually off the edge this one seems to be oh, actually it's not too bad at all that's, that's not too bad Yeah, it's poking out. See it a little bit there? Just on that side. See what I mean? Uh, it's my fault. And that side, look. Because we've concertinaed, it's not laying flat. Okay, these should be exactly the same size. Oh, that one. Oh, it's so slightly over, so I'm going to give them a trim. I must have measured them slightly off a touch. So I'm going to take a branch off. Literally that much. And I'm going to try and do the same on here. So I want my bottom to look tidy. So I'm going to flatten it. Just push it under. And just trim that little bit off to make it tidy. And if you don't feel confident doing that with yours, uh, you could always use your scissors. So I'm just literally taking my guillotine. Pushing close and then going in and taking that off. Perfect. That's a lot better now. So this is oh rubber. We're gonna cover it with DSP again and stop it. <laughs> so let's take our beautiful little papers now. And we are literally going to glue that. I'm going to glue that that way. Tiny, tiny little mark there. Okay, he's got a neat neck for that. Perfect. And I'm going to glue that right on there in the centre. Giving myself a quarter of an inch either side. Giving me loads of flaps. Like I say, you could have done a, you can do an extra one of these and actually do it at the one and a half and give score at one and a half and then but you'd have to have flaps coming up either side to make an extra page. But I think this one will be fine. I because I don't do that many birthdays. For me this one's fine. You could add tape on this as well if you wanted to. But I'm not going to. So you can eyeball that. You can roughly tell where the middle is. You want about half inch, half inch either side. And then just push your bone holder to get that glued in nice and neat. And by the other one, like I say, I did the I chopped out the the thumbnail part, but I'm not gonna do that on this one. Right now these are, so I'll set that aside to dry while I have a swig of coffee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now these are gonna get glued on here. And I want to keep the two grooves on the inside so the peaks are on the outside. So glue that. And 
push that down on there gluing them on and again just going to close that up and on that side as well I'm going to close that up and I'm just going to get that burnish whilst we're waiting for that to go off can turn that round get a little peg let's have a look I've got a little peg Take seconds then to go off. Oh, just hold that in place. Covered in glue. So I want my two peaks on the outside. So I'm going to be gluing Oops. Oh, nearly then, nearly. And let's just go in on the edge. And again. Just gluing them ready. Just let that do the work while you're getting the next one ready. I do have another peg. So we want to keep the peaks on the outside. Giving us two grooves for the inside. Like I say, you can extend that to three and four you could just keep going. You could have these stretch as wide as you want. It's entirely up to you. So I'll give that just a quick rummage. And then just fold them down. Pinch your peg. Put that on there. Give that a good burnish. Go around the other side, I have two peaks on the outside, so oh wait there now. Okay, you're gonna do it the wrong end, aren't you? Yay, oh no, luckily okay, I haven't. So that go in that end. And that's going on that end. And that's going on there. Right, but now you're going to decide whether you want to put designer series paper down just a couple of, uh, just a strip. So when you pull this back, you can see so far down. You don't have to go all the way. You can just put like, say, three inches worth in. So let's see what we've got. Paper wise, oh, it's beautiful paper. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see, the wood grain's lovely as well. Oh, just stunning. Oh, look at that. I think I want to use that for two of the pieces. So I'm just literally going to. That is seven and a half. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this down seven and a half so I need to remove five and four and an extra I'm just going to take an extra sixteenth of an inch that should be right now let me just measure that oh no I'm going to go down a little bit more I'm just literally just going to take I'm doing that the wrong way this is fine I'm going to do this this piece is going to be seven and three eighths. Let's just check. Right now, because these are only a certain width, see what I mean? We're going to have space showing. So I'm going to take these down. to seven, well six and seven eighths, let's just do a fraction smaller. I hate it when you take the pad, a DSP out of a pad, because it kills in the corner, doesn't it? So let's get that and get that. What's the width of that? That is, I 
that's just over four, so let's just do four and a quarter. And we're gonna do that by six and seven eighths as well. Go to the other side. I never throw those bits because they go for making hair and bone cards. So that's gonna go like that for a sec. Whoops, there goes my trimmer. So I'm going to slot that in there actually. And then all that is going to get glued inside there. So we're using that really as our back wall when you think about it. Or you could just glue, I tell you what we can do. Just glue down the sides. Right at the top, right at the top on this side. Come on, getting it right at the top. Perfect. Why is that one further over? Doesn't matter because that now is all going to get glued inside. The I'm a silly sausage, am I? Oh, you're going to see it when you open it, aren't you? Like that. And then we're just going to add DSP on this section. So, oh, we'll get there in the end, girls. We'll get there in the end. And to seal off the bottom. And this got a bit of extra protection now as well because we were only going to glue down these bits. We've got the extra paper bit at the back. So line this up. I would stay about a quarter of an inch away from the bottom and the top. So there's an even border. And then just press that down till it goes off. And then when you open that now, you can see all the way down, I can see a little bit on the edge here, but to solve that, if I don't want to see that, just get yourself a black marker pen. No one can see that now. Nice little cheat for you. If you get paper that sticks out, just go down with whatever colour pen coordinates with your cardstock and it'll get rid of it for you. So let's go to the other side. ribbon everywhere look so I'm gonna make sure that stays up top doesn't overlap I might even trim a little bit more off that actually just a fraction and just a little bit open up to get your cards out you've got that beautiful pattern paper and now we can glue that this side extra protection so whoops yeah don't go all the way up the top there with that glue again so just along the bottom look at this clog it up I think what it needs now is a refill because it's running a bit. Yeah, because if we did just put the black in, that's all we would have put up the side was like that. But instead, we've got that extra protection there. And we can glue that section as well. Beautiful. And again, line this up. 
quarter of an inch either side, top and bottom. Gorgeous. I'm going to just rub your bone folder. Take all the deers down. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And make sure that. It's only so your cards don't come out the bottom end. So make sure it's pressed down, okay. And we've got that lovely insight in there as well. So when you take your card out, it's got a beautiful view down there. Isn't that sweet? And like I say, you can expand as much as you want. Oh, it's beautiful. Now let's see if our card fits with our envelope. Now I keep mine. My mine are all ready to go to charity, so mine are always stored in a cello bag as well. So let's seal this up. And those things never want to come off your hand. So I know my envelopes are six and three eighths. So now. I can, store. Oh, look at that, perfect, 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 perfect. If it didn't want to store with the cello bag, you could keep envelopes one side, cards the other side, add an, like I say, add an extra two. You could extend this even by adding more concertina and another layer of card stock and doing the same and building outwards. So you could have January, February, March, April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November and December. If you want to extend on, just make what we've just done there again and add it on top, then again and add it on top, then again, add it on top, then again, add it on top. And just keep doing that until you've got your six pages or your 12 in total. So, but yeah, that fits now. And all I'm left to do now is to add designer serious papers to these beautiful pages. Oh, my batteries are really got nearly going. So I'm not, I'm not going to do those with you right now. You uh, just see me decorate. But there is that beautiful either a birthday book, a card holder, um, a photo book. You know, if you want to add photos to the, each page, just to store them till you can lay them out properly on scrapbook. And I don't know. It's up to you. There is that beautiful, beautiful but you can put you can put put a nice little plaque on there saying birthday book or you know it's entirely up to you it's yours to decorate now it's all yours you're free to make it how you want and like i say this measures seven and a half by five and a quarter now and it even fits my cellophane bags as well as my envelopes there you go, Cheryl. I told you I'd make you one. I finally got around to it, my darling. <laughs> Whew, I'm sweating pints. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, please don't forget to press subscribe and the bell. Um, you'll be, you will get a notification every day because I do post every single day. It's getting harder at the minute to find stuff to do all the time, but I'll, do, I'll get there. I haven't failed in five years, so I don't think I'll fail for the next. But uh, I do love entertaining you, keeping all you lovely ladies. I love our chats. I think it's adorable. Even if I have to revisit some old fancy fold cards, eh? Who's to say? We make the same fold every day, don't we, in normal cards? So if you want to see what's going on tomorrow, don't forget to press that little bell after you've pressed the subscribe. We're getting close now to... Oh, let me just see. Uh, oh, 64 to go and I'm on 12,000 subscribers and that's when I'm doing the album giveaway. So, oh, oh it could even be this. You don't know what it is. It could be anything. It could be an album. It could be a photo book. It could be this beautiful birthday book. I'm going to get, I'm going to have a choice of, there's going to be three items on the desk and the winner is going to get to choose which item they want to receive. But I hope you enjoyed. It's like one for cards and envelopes. And then a little mini one as well. Perfect. We've got the mummy and the baby. <laughs> so I'll come back soon.
Take care, lovelies. Bye. Hey, I forgot about, uh, I forgot to lift the measurements up, so I'm jogging it on right at the end. <laughs> so there we go. If you want to go and get your pieces and join and make it with me, then you're more than welcome to do so. But there are all the measurements for you, my lovelies, for this size, which is seven and a half by five and one eighth. So there you go. See you soon. Bye.